Hello everyone. Welcome to Bouquets by Nicole. I'm Nicole and today I'm going to be showing you a bouquet kit by the name of Alana. Alana is made with deluxe satin roses. I'll be using red roses today. So we have our red roses. The kit will include your ribbon to cover the bottom of your styrofoam ball and you'll also get ribbon to cover your wooden holder which are also included in the kit. Everything you need to make this bouquet is included in the kit. So we have our brooches here that we're using today and we're using these gorgeous flower, I call them flower rhinestones. These are so beautiful. So we'll be using these in between the brooches. It's a very simple bouquet, but it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to be using this new um, trim here to cover my holder. I just got this in. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. It looks so luxurious, doesn't it? I like that. I think it's going to add a really nice touch to the holder. I usually use um, this one here, but I'm going to use this one today. Okay, so you'll need your glue gun, your glue stick. You need a pair of scissors to cut your ribbon to make your leaves. I have some leaves here already that I've used the two inch width ribbon to make. And I'll make a few more just to show you guys how to make the leaves if you haven't seen any of my other videos. So I'll show you how to make the leaves. And these are just extras. I don't need these here. Um, so let's get started. Oh. First thing you want to do, well, second thing actually, because this was the first thing. So the next step is to apply some ribbon to the base of your styrofoam half ball. And we're doing this to hide gaps between our roses at the bottom row. Because we don't want any of the styrofoam half ball to be seen through our roses. So you just take some. You wanna covered I started the bottom of my bouquet some people start at the top I started the bottom and you're just going to take your roses and make a you know go around the baseline of the bouquet and the good thing like I see how easy it is to use these roses you don't have to worry about you know fitting them together you just I mean, these are the easiest roses you can use for your bouquet, especially if you're a beginner. I'm back. So I have most of my roses in place. So I'll just continue um, putting my roses on and then we can get to the decorating part of this. As I said before, this bouquet, Alana, it's available as a kit and it's also available as a bouquet. Um, as a bouquet, it's available in our emergency um, department, which means that um, we guarantee to have it out within 48 hours. So, This is Alana. And I'm just going around putting in the rest of my roses. Just hold them down as you go. And we're almost done. So that's our third row. So you probably get about, what, five rows in the um, large bouquet. I need some more roses here. And I love using these roses. Like I said before, it's just so, look how quick, you know, I mean, you might not be in a race. <laughs> you know, to get your bouquets out, but I'm telling you, these are the most beautiful roses anyway. These, I mean, I just love the look of these roses. They're so gorgeous. I need one more glue stick here. 
So how's everybody's summer going? It's July. Can you believe it? This summer is just about over. Wedding season is in full swing now. The weddings are here. Um, at the beginning of the year, you know, we're like prepping for now. So now is now. So we're getting a lot of emergencies, um, emergency orders from the brides, I guess, who forgot about their bouquets. <laughs> so this is done, okay. That was so quick. Now you see we have some gaps in there, but that's fine. I can close them up if I want to, and I probably will if my brooches don't cover, but usually the brooches cover. So now what we're going to do is just put our leaves at the bottom. Like I said before, I already have some made up. Let me just show you how I make these leaves. You just cut a piece of the fat ribbon that's included in your kit if you're making it yourself, if you're not having me make it. You just make your leaves. I mean, and a lot of people, you know what they do, a lot of the brides do, they have like a little get together with their bridesmaids and everybody makes their own bouquet. They purchase the kits and they have a ball making their bouquets. And a lot of people actually started the business from making their own uh, wedding bouquets. They got business. <laughs> people wanting them to make their bouquets for them. That's how I got started. I made my own bouquets and I just, and people kept coming to me to make their bouquets for their weddings, you know, just based on what I had at my wedding that I made myself. And that's how this business got started. And I'm telling you, you can make some really good money making bouquets, let me tell you. Um, I got so many questions from people wanting to, you know, start the business from brides who made their bouquets, like I said before, and, you know, people want them to make their bouquets, that I created a business starter kit. So if you're interested, go on over to the website and look at our business starter kit. In the starter kit, you'll get roses, styrofoam, everything you need to make at least 10 brooch bouquets that's in the business starter kits some brides even you buy the business starter kits for their wedding <laughs> you know just to make their own um this is a way to save because it's not that expensive i try to keep the cost down you know because if people are just starting out of business they don't have a lot of money you know to put down so the kits are definitely a good way to get started in this business. So now what we're going to do is just take our leaves and apply them. I don't know what this glue gun is not hot at all. What's going on? I hate changing glue guns because it's like I use them every day and you sort of get attached to them. <laughs> so this one looks like it's trying to die out on me. All right, so you just go around and put your leaves at the bottom here. Let's stand up. What is this one? I don't like my leaves coming out past my roses. So I try to keep them, you know, even or I put the leaves under the roses. I notice some people put them all the way out. I think they look kind of, it makes the bouquet look cheap to me. I mean, the leaves should be there, but you don't have to be seen, you know? So just keep going around your leaves. So I'm just about done with my leaves here. I have two more I need to put on. And then we can cover the holder. Be careful when you're working with dark colors because the glue will show up on these, on the dark colors. Now, if you're working with white or ivory, you might be able to get away with, you know, a mistake or two with the glue, but not with the dark colors because you will see the glue when it dries. So be really careful and use just a little bit of glue. I need one more leaf. And I just cut these at the bottom of my leaves just to get rid of some of the excess ribbon so that I won't have a bulk down here. You see how nice 
when you cut it in a V, look how sleek that is. It's seamless. So just cut away some of the ribbon so that it won't be bulky when you go to wrap your holder. Okay, so we're done with our leaves. So then you just take a piece of the um, two width ribbon and you just cut a piece of it into like a circle because we're going to use this to cover the bottom of the wood, our wooden holder. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just want to get it round. And then you just apply that at the bottom. Like so. We're almost done, guys. Stay with me. A couple more minutes, then we're going to decorate this gorgeous bouquet. Alana. All right, so now you take your skinny ribbon, right? And we're going to wrap our holder with our skinny ribbon. And just wrap it really tight. Get rid of all the wrinkles. And just keep going around. Right. Put some glue in between the rows so that your ribbon won't slide. You want it to stay firmly in place while it's going down the aisle. So just keep going around your holder. And it's just so good when you make those V's at the bottom of your leaves because this is where it gets bulky. If you didn't, if you don't do that, you're gonna have a mess when you get to the neck of the bouquet. So see, my, mine is seamless because I have V's there. I cut it, you know, I got rid of a lot of the ribbon. And I just fold this over, apply some glue. And I hope I don't get this blue on anything with this red ribbon. Okay. Alright, so that's done. And this bouquet is pretty without anything, right? Gorgeous red roses. Okay. So now we're just going to Go around and fix whatever we need to fix. Okay, so now let's get our brooches. These brooches are sold individually. If you're interested in just purchasing the brooches, you may do so on our website. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these. I'll probably just use maybe 10. These come 12 in a pack. And they're just gorgeous. I love the bling. I mean, they're just so blingy. <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to put one at the top. And let me cut the pins off. You don't have to cut the pins off. Because, I mean, these are pretty um, flat brooches. And I don't think I'm going to cut the back because... It's going to save me some time with this video. So I'm just going to put some glue. Like that. And then I'll come here. Oh, this is so pretty. I love the dark color, the contrast with the... Uh, I have to cut these. I. Sorry, guys. I always forget to do this. Alright, so that, put 
put one there. Then we'll put another one right here. I know if you've seen my other videos, you know exactly what I'm going to do. But I promise you guys, I have some new videos coming up showing you how to do different things other than the bouquets. I'm going to show you how to um, decorate your guest books, your flower girl baskets with beautiful ribbon and brooches. Make them stand out. Instead of just the plain flower girl baskets and pillows you get from the craft stores or wherever. I'm going to show you how to bling them out. Bling, yes. All right, and then we're going to put, just go right in here. Like, we're just going to, where I have four at the top, one at the top, one at the center, four here, and then we'll put four at the bottom, and the four at the bottom, we're going to put between these two. Like that. Well, this way. Let's put it right in the middle. Like right here. Here. See that gap there? So we're going to just put our brooch right there. Don't worry about your gaps until you're done um, putting your brooches on. Then that's when they become a problem. But they're not a problem if you still have to put brooches on. So I use nine brooches. Four on the sides at the top and four on the sides at the bottom. So they're equally distributed. Oh, this is looking good already. My goodness. This is so pretty. And then we're just going to go in with these. Oh, my God. Yes. I don't know if I want to put it in a line. I'll put it up here. Oh, my goodness. This is so pretty. And it's just so simple. Really, you can put these anywhere. Just put them anywhere. These we have on the website in different sizes. This is the large size. This is like the 18 um, millimeter. We have 12, 10, 14, and 18, I believe. Like for the, if this was a smaller bouquet, I would have used the smaller um, rhinestones. I wouldn't have used these real big ones. But because this is a big um, bouquet, I'm using the larger ones. And these are also available in the brooch department. I think they're sold in packs of 10, 20. You can get different quantities. In this gap here, I'm just going to apply some glue there and then just squeeze my roses together to eliminate that gap. I didn't want to put my rhinestone there because it was would have been too close to the brooch. And then, of course, with these dark roses, you're going to have to keep going throughout the bouquet to remove your glue. Um, your glue strings or somebody told me just use a hair dryer to get rid of them you can do that too so I have another gap here you just close up your gaps okay and of course you can add if you didn't want to just use rhinestones with this one I guess you could have used, um, you can use some pearl flatbacks or, you know, we have a bunch of beautiful pearl flatbacks. But some people really, when they don't want pearls, they don't want pearls. Oh my God, absolutely no pearls on my bouquet. Oh, this is so pretty. My goodness. 
So you just go through the bouquet and wherever you want to put your um, your rhinestones, you just put them. There's no rhyme or reason. Wherever you want to put them. Wherever, you know, it looks like there's an empty space. You put them there. So this is Solana, guys. So I'll probably, you know, I'll go back through and put some more in there. But I just want to... Really, let me tell you what I really want to do. I just want to get my hands on this, um, <laughs> this trim. Oh my goodness, I love this trim. Oh yes, I think I'm going to use this from now on. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So, of course, it costs a little bit more, but I mean, it looks better too. Look, this compared to to this. Which one would you prefer on your bouquet? Mmm. I would prefer this one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. And then it doesn't have those gaps to where the glue can seep through. It's just a flat um, surface. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. So you know I'm going to have to put this, as soon as this video airs, I'm going to have to put this on the website as an option. Because people are going to be purchasing it. I know. So just put this, oh my goodness. Yes, this is saying something. Oh, gorgeous. Can you imagine this just wrapped on the whole um, holder? Oh, Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's pretty. Right? I can't do that to her bouquet because it wasn't pictured like that. So, but you know, I'm going to make one like that. All right. So, let me. I have a few more of these I want to put in place. And guys, this is a wrap. I'm done. So I had to get this in the mail today. And then I have a few more emergency items I need to get out. June, July, and August, they're like emergency months. I, I don't know. People just forget their bouquets. With all the planning for the wedding, I guess the flowers are like the last for some people. I, have to, I had brides because these are, um, aren't fresh roses. People, I have brides who purchase their bouquets months ahead of time and just keep them covered in plastic in your closet until the big day. And you know you don't have to. That's something you can mark off your to-do list. Order your bouquets early and just you know store them properly and. You'll be good to go on your wedding day. So, guys, this is Solana. Okay, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of my new trim. I love this. All right, so, once again, Alana can be purchased as the bouquet or the DIY kit for you brides who want to save money and make your bouquets yourself. Or if you're just crafty and you want to do it yourself, hey, go to Bouquets by Nicole and get your kit or your bouquet today. And guys until we meet again god bless you and keep you and i'll see you next time bye bye